expect top UP officials are to visit Hathras now. UP police chief, senior IS officers to leave for Hathras as well. This will be the first visit after the controversy over the local, administra uh, local administration's handling of the entire Hathras story. Alok Pandey with us on the phone line for more. Alok. Uh, well, so uh, Sonal, the additional chief secretary home, who is the all-powerful bureaucrat here in Uttar Pradesh, Mr. Avasti, Avnish Avasti, and his counterpart in the police force, the Director General of Police, Mr. H. T. Avasti, Itesh Chandra Avasti, are both going to visit Hathras today. They say that it is on the directions of UP Chief Minister Adityanath. So it is clear that after all the controversy and all that has happened in the last 48 hours, the government is now trying to carry out at least some firefighting operations. Hmm. But one could certainly argue and ask the question whether it is too little, too late. Hmm. For 48 hours, he's given an open abuse of the law, or at least the constitution, in Hathras, where these policemen and their officials have put in barricades, preventing anyone from going to visit the family. They have only opened up the barricades this morning. And that too, after slack all around, after, I mean, disbelief, after criticism, that how can you do something like this? I mean, I don't remember something like this happening in a long, long time. Hmm. Then they have opened up those barricades in the morning. They've allowed the media to enter. They are still saying they'll not allow political delegations to enter. That's their call. Now you have these two senior officers of the UP government going there. Perhaps they'll also visit the village. There is some talk that they'll go and meet with the family. Uh, one could certainly argue that this is something that should have been done four days ago hmm. and not right now. When things have got to such a point where there are so many accusations against so many people, uh, that it's just difficult to keep track. Five policemen, as you have been reporting, Sonal, have been suspended, including the police chief of Hathras, hmm. the then police chief of Hathras. But one again asks the question whether these are scapegoats and whether the bigger officials who were involved in the decision making in the last week or so are going to go away scot free because they have made these people sacrificial lambs. Now, at this moment, the media is allowed into Hathras. Our colleague Akshay Dongre is reporting from there. So it will be interesting to see what these two senior representatives of the UP government now say and do in Hathras, a district beset with controversy and the bungling up in a major manner in the way the district administration and their superiors have handled this case. All right, Alok, I want to talk about another aspect of this case and uh, this is about the politics of it all really. Uh, you've been reporting and telling us earlier that the UP Congress chief, Ajay Kumar Lallu, has made claim so far that he has been put under house arrest. Is this uh, again linked to the fact that uh, Rahul Gandhi this morning said that nobody can stop him and we are now being told that uh, both Rahul Gandhi and Priyanka Gandhi Vadra might be making a second attempt today to go and reach Hattas? Well, it does seem so because uh, we also saw some visuals come in on ANI where they had barricaded the DND flyway, uh, which is the road that leads towards Uttar Pradesh from Delhi and they had barricaded that. So the UP Congress has been tweeting to say that uh, there are policemen at the residence of uh, Mr. Lallu here in Lucknow. I also spoke with Mr. Lallu and he said that when I asked these people, why are you here? They say that we are in your security. So that's what they say. Like I also saw this video that was sent by the Congress and uh, those people, uh, those people were, the policemen were there and Lallu was walking towards the lift and no one was stopping him. But uh, he did ask the policeman ki main ki na and they said, Kiare, sir, hum to aapki suraksha mein hai, aapke koi rok thode na hai. So at the end of the day, it is all, also political posturing. It is political posturing. But mm. again, Sonal, just 15 more seconds of your time. Right. Uh, political posturing is fine. And one would expect some kind of politics to happen. But when was the last time you saw some official, an IAS officer, no less, push a politician to the ground? Hmm. I saw that yesterday and I was astounded at the brazenness of it. Hmm. There have been demonstrations in the past, including under this government, under previous government here nationally, but people manage, people somehow manage. It doesn't come to a point where you are pushing and shoving people. Hmm. If that is happening, it's very unfortunate. All right.